Hey guys, welcome back to Ditswitch Demos. My name is Jackson, and today we're going to check out the NRG FX Mauler. Another pedal from good friend and master pedal builder Neil Grimes at NRG FX. The Mauler is his new fuzz pedal and also represents a slight direction change, not direction change, but a new series of pedals from NRG FX, the Monochrome series. Same internals and uh, circuits as his custom shop, what will now become the custom shop range of pedals. The uh, Monochrome series come in this slightly simpler enclosure with a faceplate and an overall simpler design. The idea behind this is that it will take him less time to build, um, so you can build more of them at a lower price, but still have that same care and attention when it comes to the circuits. Neil makes one of my all-time favorite overdrives, the Pura, so when he said he was making a vintage-inspired fuzz pedal that he just sort of tweaked and tweaked and tweaked, I was totally on board. I'm told the Mauler started off life as sort of a 60s two transistor fuzz circuit type thing. Some really interesting controls here help us get from those classic 60s fuzz tones to gated, lower gain, spitty, gritty fuzz tones, all the way to self oscillating mayhem, believe it or not. It's actually really fun. There's a surprising amount to cover here, so let's get straight into it. So for me, tonally, this pedal is really interesting. It clearly has its roots in that vintage camp, those 60s fuzz faces, tone benders type of thing, but there's definitely a modern twist here. Tonally, it is very full sounding and very round, but still has that aggression and bite. It balances that fine line really well bet between being too full and too aggressive. And I think that's because the pedal is quite mid heavy, but it's pushing a really wide range of mid range that actually actually verges on some low end and some high end.
Okay, the controls are pretty interesting here and in typical NRG fashion, they are labeled slightly differently to what you might expect. Usually, I, to be honest, I'm not a fan of it when people label their controls differently. I like my gain to be gain, but here I found that to be a different experience and it actually helped me interact with the pedal. All preconceptions of where you're supposed to set your controls and where you're supposed to have your fuzz and your volume and your bias, are all out the window. It forces you to interact and play with each control individually before you find your own sound. Loud, however, is still pretty self-explanatory, I suppose. Loud is the overall volume of the pedal. Jaws is your bias control. Winder all the way down is a low bias of the transistors. This makes it more gated, more spitty, and then winding that up, it becomes fuller, more saturated, and I guess more traditional sounding, more predictable. Maul is a input filtering control that sort of adjusts the gain of the pedal, but really it's nothing like a normal gain control. Lower settings actually have a lower input impedance and instead of sort of reducing the gain of the pedal, it's sort of softening up that gain and it feels a bit looser. It's softening up that response under your fingers as well. Higher setting, the gain fills out as you might expect, but also comes with more aggression and a faster attack on your plane. Interestingly enough, higher settings of that mall control introduces a low pass filter to tame up some of those harsh frequencies. So maybe above three o'clock, the last 10% of that knob, brings in that low pass filter. A nice little touch from Neil there. These two switches here are essentially your tone controls and drastically change the tone of the pedal obviously, but more importantly for me, really change the feel of the pedal. Meet here is your bass input filtering switch with three positions. Up to me sounds the fullest in the low end, down to me sounds the most compressed, and in the middle is the tightest and most focused low end. Like the meat switch controls the low end, the first switch sort of controls the high end of the pedal, but for me it's all about changing the texture of the breakup. In the up position to me you have the hairiest, spikiest top end. In the down position I think you have the fluffiest top end I suppose, the least detail in the top end definitely. And in the mid position, you have the clearest, most open sounding top end. The combination of these two switches and changing up those settings really gives you a wide range of tonal options, more than you might expect. You might adjust these to suit your guitar and amp combo or to change things up completely. <laughs>
The last little trick to talk about with this pedal is the second foot switch, the feed foot switch. And I can tell that this is where Neil had the most fun with this pedal. This is a momentary trigger for feedback oscillation. And for me, this is sort of an insanity switch. Things get wild and uncontrollable from this point forward. Inside the pedal, it's basically feeding your signal back into the front end of the circuit, creating like a feedback loop that interacts with your guitar and your playing but really actually mainly fights with it. That's a good way of putting it actually. When you engage that switch, it's like a fight. You're fighting with the pedal and the pedal's gonna come out on top. You can adjust the pitch and the tone of that feedback with all of the pedal's controls, especially that maul control. You can really adjust the pitch of it, but also with your guitar controls, your guitar really affects how this feedback works in really cool ways. <laughs> So there you have it, the NRG effects Mauler, a fuzz that is equal parts vintage and classic, but also wild and mayhem inducing. I've been spoiled by great sounding fuzzes recently, and the Mauler is right up there with some of my all time favorites. Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and maybe check out some more, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.